All right, so as you see, we only see like one mullet that's dead. And there's not a lot of fish that have died off in Galveston. Luckily, looks like we got hit by the worst, or hit. Luckily, it looked like we missed the worst, but yeah. You don't see any, any kind of dead fish, no kind of kill off, nothing like that. Talking to a couple of guys over here avid fishermen and they they're not they hadn't seen anything either so that's pretty cool that is awesome i'm well, gonna go out with cody myself captain cody dunn we're gonna head out we're gonna check out just scout around you know the water is real super low so right now when the waters are low like this it is a great idea to come out and scout to see what's under surface to see where what's the oysters oyster reefs cuts any kind of flats, shell flats, grass flats, really a great time to come out and scout. So we're gonna scout today, we're gonna do a little fishing too. So wish me luck, keep your fingers crossed. I hope everybody is doing well under these trying times. Uh, if you... So hopefully I can bring you guys a little bit of entertainment and be able to catch some fish. So like I said, wish me luck. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, and hopefully catch me hooking up. Here's a man right here. Captain Kodias done. So what are you do today, Cody? Well, uh, we were gonna go do some uh, South Jetty fishing for some sheepies, but yep. uh, there's no shrimp today. All the shrimp froze, it looks like, at all the bait camps. Everybody's water pipes busted, so uh, we're gonna go exploring maybe a little bit. Maybe try to find a trout, but uh, go mark some re good reefs and stuff anyway. Super low tide, so it's a good day to just go kind of hang out, maybe see if we can see some dead fish but maybe find some good reefs for fishing this summer too. What you think? And plus he's in great company. Oh, cause I'm here. I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. One, two, three. It's a bird. Nope. It's a plane. Nope. It's Superman. What is it? A bird or a black crow? Oh, it's a. Oh, shh. Oh, it's a big old black drum. Yep. Yeah. Big, big ugly. Big ugly. Somebody didn't bend it. Hey everybody, so as you saw, you know, we just weren't able to hook up to any fish. But like I said in the beginning of the video, we weren't really going out to hook up. I really just wanted to see if we had any fish kill, if we had the large number of fish that were dying mid and further down the southern part of our Texas coast. And also to take a look at some of the low water lining area. Now we had a very low tide and during this low tide it's a great time to go out and see any structures, channels, oyster reefs, grass flats. Kind of really go out there and see what you can have with some great spots that predator fish like to ambush. 
ambush the bait fish. So we went out there and Cody Dunn and myself and we marked a few spots that we're gonna come back when the water levels are a little, little higher and the water temp is a little warmer. Now today the water temp when we first got out there is about 43, 44 degrees. We did see some water warmer uh, temperature water in the more shallow area and then we did find a few other spots that we did have some warmer water that was probably somewhere around 45 to 47 degrees now when we were out there we ran into two game wardens that were putting up their boats and although they agreed to talk to me they just didn't they can't be they can't talk on camera uh, it's against their policy so i talked to one gentleman interviewed one of the game wardens he was he used to be a biologist and he's been uh, parks and wildlife game warden for the last nine years now he told me that immediately after we had that hard freeze he went out on his truck and inspect some of the shorelines he wanted to look to see how much fish kill how much dead fish that we had and he said he saw very little dead fish around the Galveston area he did go out on Friday he went out to East Bay and he was able to really get a better vantage point and look because he was going this time via boat and he didn't see maybe one or two pieces of dead bait. Uh, I think he said he saw some, a little bit of shad and a few mullet but he didn't see any predator fish at all. Now today is Saturday and I asked him where all did he go. He went far up and down both sides of West Bay and he even pushed back into the marsh system passed by West Bay. And that was really the only spot that he saw some dead fish. And it was only bait fish. Just bait fish or hard heads that were trapped back in there because they were, like I said, we had a very low tide. So a lot of that tide was out. He did say that when the water warms up, we may see one or two more predator fish come to surface but right now it looks like we are very lucky we dodged a bullet and we're not going to have a lot of that dead fish like we've seen around Rockport and Port A. Now he did talk to another angler a couple other boats out there they weren't catching anything out there they one boat caught maybe one small red and a couple small specks but that was it. Myself and Cody like I said we didn't catch anything I had a few little hits uh, just really dragging my lure on bottom trying to stay away from any trout and trying to see if I can catch hook up to a flounder around the bulkheads and I got hit by a couple little fish it might have been kind of felt like it was sand trout so it might have been sand trout but like I said that's it you know not too exciting of a trip but that's not really what we went out for we just went out to go take a look and see if we can see any dead fish and see if we can see any lone line areas where we can come back and target some fish next time when the water levels are a little higher but if you like this video please hit a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment and share until next time hopefully you catch me hooking up thanks